Hello, welcome. Let's uh, look at this question. Question 9. What's we'll the 2025 January February edition of the core mathematics? So, a scientist invested uh, two uh, robots for display in a competition. So, the first robot picks a parcel from a point X on a bearing of 350 degrees to deliver at a point Y which is having a distance of 8.5 meters. The second robot also picked another parcel from the same point X on a bearing of 75 degrees to deliver at a point Z, which is of a distance of what? Uh, 5.6 meters. We have to illustrate on a diagram, find the distance between the two robots, their delivery points, and the bearing of what? Y from what? Z. This is vectors and what bearing or bearings and vectors so let's see how we can make the diagram for the first part let's indicate uh, our Cartesian plane it's not drawn to scale so you can still use a free hand to do that I just want it to look nice so if this is the first point where we can indicate our let's say the point x now the parcel is picked from the point x on a bearing of 350. remember that the bearing is measured in clockwise direction from the north pole of your point where you are so we are at this point the north measuring 90 180 270 we are going up to 350 meaning we need extra 80. so 80 could be taken from here since this is 7 uh, 90 we can take 80 from there as an angle to a point Y. All right. So this place will also have its Cartesian plane display for the north, south, west, and east, right? Now, remember, all of it from the north all the way to this place. All of this is our 350 degrees. So in that case, it means this place is going to be 10, this place is going to be uh, 80 and 1990 90 in that order. Now, the distance for the movement is 8.5 meters. So let's indicate that 8.5 meters. Now, second robot also pick another parcel from X, the same point X, on a barrel of 75. 75, you go to the north, measure 75. So if you measure 75 on the north, we should be left with 15 down, right? So let's put 15 down and take 75 up. So I can have my 75 degree out there. Now if 75 is there, remember the distance for x to y is also giving 5.6 let's see we should be reasonable okay that would be nice it will be a little bit shorter than the one we drew first so remember not drawn to scale doing this just to show how accurate it will look like so this is where we are going to have our distance word set and this is where our point y will be and the z will be here now, if this line which is showing the west-east is parallel to west-east, then this line becomes a transverse. So the angle 75 here will be the same as the angle here at 75, if drawn uh, very well. So we need to join this point from the y all the way to the z. If that is wrong, we also have a distance of what? 5.6 meters. So the information for the question has been provided. So we need to check whether this diagram is right angle triangle so that we can apply Pythagoras theorem or the trigonometry. Now, this angle is not known. This is not known. We can only tell this is 75, so here will be 15. So 15 here is unknown. 
Here we know is 80 and 10. So if I put 10 here, 10 plus uh, 75 will give us 85, not completely up to 90. So this is not a right angle triangle. So we cannot apply Pythagoras theorem nor the trick Sokatua. So we need to think around and see. What are we looking for? This the illustration. We know this, we know this, the angles are given. We can indicate here as Y if we want to. So the diagram is complete. We are finding the distance between the two robots at their point of delivery. Where is their point of delivery? The first robot is delivering here. The second robot is delivering here. The distance between them, which is the Y we are looking for. So since we cannot use Pythagoras theorem, we can find a Y with that. We can also not use the the trick functions, which is uh, the trigonometric ratios. So we have to fall onto either the sine rule or cosine rule. For the sine rule, if this angle is known, this side is not known, perfect. This is known, this angle must be known. So that if this angle is known and this is known, we can find this using the sine rule. But in this case, the angles we are having here, we are asked to find this distance also. So let's put Theta. This is also an angle we don't know. So using sine rule becomes difficult. So we need to fall onto uh, the cosine rule. So let's see how we can do that also. So we can say that using cosine rule. By recall, we know cosine rule, we can use b squared equals to a squared c squared minus 2ac, the cos of the angle b. So in this case, the b is the length. Then the capital B is the angle. So this is facing here. This two that are facing is the one that featured here and here. If it is the other way around, then it means that this will be the one here and this angle, this length will be outside. So if I'm going to describe this by the diagram, I should be having the length of yz square equals to a can be any of them. So let me pick the smallest one, which will be xz square plus the next one should be xy square minus the very distance I have here, which will be xz then x, y, then the cos of the angle here. Remember 10 plus uh, 75 will give us what? 85 squared. So what do we do? Let's do substitution of the values we have there. Since this is unknown, let's keep maintaining this in there. Then the xz, xz will be 5.6 squared. This is going to be 8.5 square minus 2, 5.6, multiplying 8.5, then the cost of what? 85 degree. Let's move forward with the same uh, numbers by finding the values. So this one square will give you 31.36. The next one, 8.5 squared, will also give you 72.25 minus, let's have 2 times 5.6 times 8.5. That should be giving us 95.20. Then the cost of 85 will come. Let's compute this side. This will be giving you 103.61 minus, this is going to be 92.95.2, then cost 85 at once. Let's see, that will give you, that will be 8.29. Okay, what will happen is there are a lot of decimal places. So Let's put all this one down together and see. 95.2 cost 
85 degrees. Remember, this is going to be the, the length of yz equals to the square root of the value we are having here. 10103.61 minus 95.2 cos 85 degree. Let's put that all in our calculator. And this value will be giving you 9.67282. Let's make it for decimal, please. But the question is asking for the distance. So we can see that, therefore, so the distance between the two robots is going to be 9.76, is it in meters? Meters, that is if I'm leaving it in what? Uh, two decimal places. So this is just describing this side. All right, the next one is to find the bearing of Y all the way from Z, meaning go to the north of Z and read. So we can see 90, 90, 180, plus a certain angle here, which we know to be 75, plus this theta. We need to find this theta, and finding that, you can see this is unknown, the line opposite to it is known. The angle 85 is known, the side opposite to it is found to be this. So we can still find this angle using the, the sine rule at this time. You can use the sine rule to find that angle. So now we can see that, Using sine rule, we are going to compare the size. So let's see the sine of the angle 85 degree is opposite to the side. We have 9.7628. The sine of the angle theta opposite to this side, 8.5. So 1, 2, 3 is known. We can cross multiply. How do we do that? So this become 8.5 sine 85 degree. This is also multiplying this 9.7628 sine theta. But this become the coefficient. So we divide by this. So your sine theta will be this value 8.5 the sine of 85 degree divided by 9.7628. All right, Let, let's find that value and see. So this will be giving you 0 0.8673877. There are a lot of decimal places. I want to get the accurate value. So most of the time you can even find the sine inverse of this directly. So your theta will now become the sine inverse of the 0 0.8673877 together let's see what that value will be and that will be giving you 60.150 okay let's make it 04 so 01 remember this is going to be in degrees but you're not looking for this final answer in this point we are looking for the bearing of y from z. So we can see that therefore of y from z is going to be, what do we have? 90 plus 90, 180, right? So I still have 180 degrees plus this piece, which is the 70 degrees plus the angle we just found as 60.5. 151 and that should be giving us 315.151 but we can approximate that to be 315 degree so the value of the angle or the bearing of y all the way from z will be 315. I guess we are able to follow through step by step, even though a little bit longer and slow, but you are able to get a concept of what is being delivered. So you can see that for core mathematics also, it is not always that 
the angle will give you the 90 degrees for you to use Pythagoras theorem or that of the, the trig ratios. So we need to also address ourselves with the cosine rule and the sine rule as well. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.